Hello and welcome to an Empower Servers tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with your Minecraft server. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our server, we're going to connect to our server, and then I'm going to show you how to change your server version. First thing you need to do is buy a Minecraft server from EmpowerServers.com. Once you've bought your server, you're going to want to check your email, and inside your email should be details on how to log in to your panel. Now I'm going to get to the panel from EmpowerServers.com by going to the top right of the screen, clicking Login, and then Game Control Panel. Once we're here, I'm going to find my server. Here it is. So now I'm just going to check if I have the files to start up my server. So head to Management, File Manager, and then there you go. We have the correct jar installed on our server. Now I'm just going to press Start. If you get a Eula box, press I Accept. And that's it, your server is online for anyone to connect to with the IP. So now I'm gonna show you how to find the IP and connect to your server. So you wanna to head to system and server details. And here is your IP. Now your IP is also in the top left of your screen at all times under the name of your server. However, I find that this section here under server details is the easiest to copy. So I'm gonna highlight it, right click and press copy. Now it's time to open Minecraft. Now our servers will come pre-installed with the latest version of Minecraft. And for me, that is 1.18.2, as you can see here. So that's the version of Minecraft I'm gonna open. Once in Minecraft, you're gonna head to multiplayer and then press add server. Now in the server address box, we want to paste in what we copied earlier. So here I'm gonna hold control on my keyboard and then V, and that copies our server IP. Then I'm gonna press done. And now I'm going to connect to the server. And there we go. We have connected just fine. And now I'm back on control.empowerservers.com to show you how to change your server version. So if we come to configuration on the left and then press advanced, you'll see we have this box that says install different edition. Now it's automatically selected paper here and this is fine for your server. Paper is simply an optimized version of Spigot, which means you can download plugins onto your server. And under version here, I'm gonna pick one that isn't the latest version. So I'm gonna go with 1.17, and then I'm gonna press format. Now what format does is it deletes all your other server files. If you wanna keep your current server files, then don't check this box. Now I'm gonna press install different edition, and you should hear a little ding on your browser and that means everything has been installed correctly. But just to check, I'm gonna to head to Management File Manager, and as you can see here, the jar is on the server. And then I'm gonna start up the server by pressing Start. Now I know that 1.17 uses Java 16 and not Java 17, however, you're probably not gonna know this. So to know which Java version to use, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the automatically detected version, and then if there's an error, we're gonna change it. So I'm just gonna use number one because that's the version it detects automatically. And as you can see here, it's crashed. Now this is because Java 17 does not work with 1.17. It says here, unsupported Java version detected 61. And then it's gonna say only up to Java 16 is supported. So now what we need to do is we need to head back to the advanced section and choose the exact same version that we just downloaded format the server to get rid of all the files. As I said before, if you don't want to delete all your files, you can delete them manually in the file manager, but I find this the easiest option. Then we're going to press install different edition. We're going to hear that little ding on our browser, head back to system, console, start up your server, and it's going to ask us what version of Java to use. And now we have the knowledge that actually we need to use Java 16, 11 or 8. I'm gonna use the latest version, which is Java 16. Java 16 being the latest version that 1.17 supports. And as you can see here, everything's working fine. I just need to accept the EULA by pressing accept and the server is now starting up fine without any errors. And there the server's marked as on. So now I'm gonna head back into Minecraft, show you me connecting on 1.17. Now here we're on Minecraft 1.17. I'm gonna to head to multiplayer once again. And we've already added our server from earlier. So I'm going to double click on it and we're back in on our server using 1.17 this time. So that is how to get started with your new Minecraft server on empowerservers.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.